Hi, I'm Stuart J. Raj and welcome to Language of My Mastery. Today we're going to be looking at this, um, it's a filter and a phenomenon that happens, I guess with everybody, every native speaker of a language. You're not really in tune or you, you, you don't really realize what your mouth is doing and you think, you, you might think that you speak in a way that you don't really speak. And when somebody asks you, well, how do you say that? You think you know, but maybe you're not saying it. So this not only causes havoc when you're trying to help other people speak English or, or your language, um, but it's also very difficult when you're learning a new language because the, the paradigms, what you think is right in your language and very good speech, um, it might, one, it might be something that you actually do, two, it might not be the right thing for that language. So one thing that I hear people doing all the time is, um, especially in languages across Asia, but you hear it everywhere, in English, um, if I say to you uh, this word, this sentence, um, do it. Now, can, if I said, could you please pronounce this for me? And many native English speakers, they might say, do it, do it, do it. And what I would ask, do you really say do it? Listen to what I said, do it, do it. Now, admittedly, I have an Australian accent, but if it was American, do it, do it. I'm not saying do it, it. And also, by the way, this it isn't an it, it turns into an uh. But rather than we've learned about this, t, the explosion of air uh, that happens over these consonants, do it. It gets caught. Okay, do it, do it, do it. And actually, do it, what? There's almost like a W that gets thrown in the middle there to join them. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, so what we're looking to, at today, though, is all about this whole area of the final letter because it's a very important thing especially when learning asian languages to not pronounce that final consonant so where we might think it it is very good good d, it you don't do it normally in english it is very good some people do maybe in their accent but if i was saying like a word in um in saying cantonese Hop, okay, hop, hop, hop. It's not, and then they write it, you see it written in English, hop. And so native English speakers would see that and say, hop, hop. Or um, in, in Thai, the word krap, which is the final particle for guys. So krap, and they would say krap, krap. And then wonder why people are not understanding what they're saying when they're speaking in Thai in Chinese. And, and across the board in, in words like that, other word in Cambodian, uh, in Khmer, when you hear a final K, it actually gets caught off in the throat. So um, I want us to start looking at n being able to capture these words in, our, um, in the backs of our throats and not doing the aspiration at the end. So some of the words that I will do now as an exercise, I want you to say these, I'm gonna write it in IPA. So. Cut, and I'll put a little um, K up here, meaning as aspirated out. So t, t, that's another symbol to mean aspirated out versus cut. And that means captured in the throat. All right. Um, and I'm going to write this word. So this would be uh, map versus map caught in the throat. And then finally, I'll say um duck with it out there versus duck caught in the throat so listen to the difference here i'll say this is with the final plosive like as uh plosive t at the end versus non cut cut map map duck duck I'll go down this column, the first column. Cut, map, duck. And now I'll go down this one. Cut, map, duck. Can you hear the difference? This one is caught in my throat. It's got like a glottal stop that comes over it and it makes it cut off at the end. You see that? Cut. I don't say cut, I say cut. Now in English, you might think that it's not good pronunciation to not, um, ask, to not do this plosive 
at the end. But in languages, uh, especially across Asia, it's thought of as bad or incorrect pronunciation to have this explosion at the end. So don't explode at the end is the take home for today. Don't explode at the end. If you don't explode at the end, everybody's going to be happy. I'm Stuart J. Raj, and this is Language and Mind Mastery.